Ladies and gentlemen, over the next few minutes, my goal is to show you the inside of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate on Coursera and explain why or why not this professional certificate is worth taking. Included in that, I'll really talk about outcomes, whether it's gonna get you a job or whether it really won't, how difficult the certificate is, and also how this compares to other options, such as taking a degree through a traditional four-year college. I know that when you're deciding whether this is right or whether it's just not for you, it's helpful to see inside the certificate as much as possible. So whenever possible, I will try to do that for each section of the course and bring you that here today. So without any more talking, let's dive right in. All right, let's start really big picture with this professional certificate. From a high level perspective, the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate is for beginners, complete beginners who want to skill themselves up to prepare for a potential job interview in a number of different fields. This course is gonna be relevant for you if you're considering any of the following potential career paths. It could be a data scientist, a business intelligence analyst, a marketing analytics manager, or something of a similar career field. But no, no matter what your career path, you will gain so much related knowledge to other subjects inside the certificate that as this course advises, approach it with an open mind. Let's break down certificate composition. What's actually inside? Well, this certificate is broken down into eight courses, and those courses are meant to be taken in order. They're all created by Google employees that will walk you through over 180 hours of videos, practice-based examinations, quizzes, forum posts, and real-world scenarios meant to prepare you to get in front of an interviewer for a data analytics position. You've got to pass the graded materials that come throughout the lessons in this course with an 80% average to go on and obtain a certificate that you can share on your profiles and use as proof that you've passed this professional certification. All in all, Google says the course will take about six months to complete. In my opinion, if you're focused or if you've got a little bit of starting knowledge, you're going to get through this in two to three months maximum. And that's important because Coursera bills at a cost of $49 a month for every month that you're in the course. However, if you wanna sample the course in a free trial, I will put a link to access that for seven days free to test out and see what you wanna see inside before committing one way or another. Now again, big picture, before we get into each individual course, let's talk difficulty level. I'm gonna give you a pro tip here. While the course is meant for beginners to skill you up to a intermediate level from a starting point of zero, it has and understands that there are going to be people with background knowledge coming in and taking this course for a variety of reasons. That's why, pro tip, you can take the speed track in this course and still obtain a certificate. You can test into a quicker path to get through, still cover the most important modules, and get out in a much faster time. Okay, let's dive in and show you real course content from inside the eight different courses before I tell you my final thoughts on this certificate. Course one, it's called Foundations. Data, data, everywhere. This is really a brief introduction. You'll get connected in a forum, learn how to best study and take this course, and learn a ton of definitions about data analytics. Whereas course one helped you learn about definitions of data analytics, course two helps you start to think like a data analyst. You'll learn how to go from just looking at data to how to link it to the end product and present information to business stakeholders. You'll also be introduced here to Google Sheets and how to use that. And if you hadn't guessed, you're going to be using a lot more Google and Google owned products as you go throughout this course. Course three is called Prepare Data for Exploration. This course is going to blend business strategy with data analysis. You'll start to think more about analytical concepts in data, but you'll also be introduced in that process to creating a Kaggle account, which is a community of data scientists. Here, you'll learn how to meet the community and what that can do for you, as well as best practices around organizing data. Course four is called Processing Data from Dirty to Clean. 
This all boils down to a really real world application for potential roles that you could be working in. Data is very messed up a lot of times when it comes in and filled with errors. You'll learn how to recognize those and rectify them to turn it into a usable, very tangible product that you can make decisions with. Course five, analyze data to answer questions. This is what it's all about learning how to do complex calculations to answer real world questions that you'll find in business. You'll learn inside here about SQL, how to sort data, you'll get familiar with even more tools and you'll practice sorting and analyzing data using Google Run BigQuery. Course six will be sharing data through the art of visualization. And I personally think it's one of the most important courses in here because it tells you how to get to that end product that makes all the difference in the real world when you're explaining your findings to other people. You'll get introduced to another resource, Tableau, to actually create these visualizations for you. In our second to last course, course seven, which is called Data Analysis with R Programming, you'll be introduced to the programming language R. You'll learn fundamental concepts and you'll use R Studio to do this, and Google will teach you the basics of coding in R. Now, you're not gonna become a coding expert after just course seven, but you will have a good introductory ability to talk about this and get big concepts that you could be using a lot later down the road. By course eight, you're ready for the capstone project. You'll have a number of different options to choose from when picking your capstone. You'll choose the one that's most interesting to you, and you'll get this huge PDF of different descriptions of problems and how you can solve them. You'll work through that, and then you'll actually have something tangible to talk about later on once you move on from this project. So now, let's talk specifically about my thoughts and if the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate is actually worth it. I wanna break this down by first highlighting really maybe two things specifically I like about the course and then talking about the negative side before wrapping it up for you here. First, the good. This course is amazing for introducing real world concepts to you explaining how they work, and then letting you test them. That's pretty much the model that all eight lessons follow from beginning to end. And I think they have really good application out there in the job market. What this does for you is it gives you a wide range of knowledge and really skills you up and brings you up to speed on a variety of very relevant topics in this field. I also wanna commend the program on giving a ton of helpful resources away. Here's the benefit of these. In almost every topic, Google pulls in a resource or another website or maybe even a Google-owned product, shows you how to use it, and you get a little bit comfortable with that. What this does is it speeds up your learning process so much as a beginner because it gives you natural pathways to continue learning after you exit this program. It will save you so much time from having to go on and discover this on your own by Google really setting them in front of you and then giving you the opportunity to continue to learn afterwards. I see these shortcuts as very valuable. It also increases your expertise with real world products. Let me give you the big con of this and I'll start by the question, is this course going to help you get a job? The only area I don't see this quite measuring up is in meeting the expectation of it constantly says, this will prepare you for your first interview. This will get you that first job. Now, I don't think you'll actually be able to just use this to get your job, or at least I'd be surprised if you did. That's probably in the minority. But I see this course as not the end game, but as a means to the end. This is a great starter, a great push to build momentum for a number of reasons and help you achieve your overall goal. What I mean by this is this course provides the structure of what you need to know and gets it going, but now you've got to find the real world experience to make it happen and continue to learn. Overall, I would highly recommend this course specifically for beginners who are interested in data analytics and where it could take them in a career. It's of course not to the level of a four year degree where you'd expect a good entry level job, but I think this can get you going in the right direction and you'll certainly be much more knowledgeable to continue your pursuits after you're done by taking this course. I think you could pair this with an internship, an entry level job, a number of years in a degree, and you're gonna be well ahead of the game. Thanks for watching this review. If you have any questions, there's a let's connect section down in the description where you can actually reach me more directly. I get so many comments, it's sometimes hard to get back to every single person on the video. So I opened up a space to do that 
there. If you wanna watch me break down another related course, you can do that right here.